All right, in the last video, I showed you the layout and how to navigate Autodesk Fusion 360. On this one, we're going to start drawing our car. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, make sure you do so before starting this one. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, make sure that we're in sketch, that we've selected a plane to draw on, and that we are in inches for our units right here instead of uh, millimeters. And since I have the line tool selected, I'm going to just start a line right here in the middle on the circle. Click and let go. If you hold in your clicker, it's not going to work. You need to click and let go and just drag to the right. And you can see the line is following my cursor. I want it to be um, 90 degrees flat on this red axis line. And as you notice, as I drag it to the right, the dimensions change in the top in blue. So I went from 5 to 6, and the degree is 0. This line is flat. There's no um, angle to it. So I'm going to measure my block of wood. And then I measured it. It's 12 inches. Hit 12, and then Enter. And you'll notice that it put a dimension line above our actual line. The actual line is blue, so I'm going to grab this dimension line and drag it below our line. It just calls out how long the line is. So if someone were to create whatever we're drawing, they would say, oh, from this arrow, from this point right here, over to here to this point, it's 12 inches. So that line is 12 inches. So that's what a dimension is. It's a number and a line that call out a length of something. So we drew one line. Now I'm going to measure the front of the car. And uh, right now I'm drawing the side view of our car. So you're looking at the car from the side. And I'm measuring the front of the car, the narrowest part. And I can tell that it is an eighth above a half an inch. So half an inch is four eighths. One above that is five eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. So I pick sketch. And I'm going to make sure my line clicks there. See how that blue box appeared? That means it's going to snap to that line. We want it to snap to it and connect to that line. So I'm going to click. I'm going to go up. Remember, um, mine was 5 eighths, but yours might be different. So double check your block and make sure. So you can actually type it in as a fraction. 5 slash 8. And all this can be done on your keypad on the right of your keyboard. After I've typed that in, I hit enter. Then I'm going to drag my dimension in front of the car. I'm going to draw my back side of my car now. So I'm going to click here, make sure it snaps that line. Click and let go. Drag it up and measure the back of your car. Looking at the back of my car, it's two and three quarters. So here's how you do a fraction. You do two, space, then three quarters. If you don't space between the two and the fraction, then it's going to mess up your line. So two space, three fourths. It's 90 degrees. It's showing me that. I want it to be 90 degrees. Hit enter. And that line's drawn. So we have three out of our four lines. All we need to do now is connect these two dots. So I'm going to go back to sketch. I'm going to click, see how it snapped to that one. Go forward to my other one. Snap. You'll notice that it turned kind of a light yellow inside of my uh, side view, that shows that the loop was closed or that all these lines are connected and it makes one solid loop. And you want that to happen. If it doesn't do that, you can zoom in on your corners and you might have a line that's not connected. And if you have two lines that aren't connected, here I'll hurry and draw two, um, you can actually connect them after you've drawn them. So here's two lines. Say I want to um, connect these two lines. All you need to do is grab the little circle and snap it onto the other circle. Now they are connected. So go ahead, draw this view just like I did. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the top view and the front view.